Well, hi there again, everybody, and uh, we're back to 1908. Uh, this time, it uh, once again is the Giants at the uh, Cardinals. Giants with a 27 and 7 record. The Cardinals are 13 and 23. This is going to be uh, May 23rd, 1908. Uh, take a quick look here at the standings. You can see New York still with a big lead over the Cubs. Four games. Giants have gone nine and one out of their last ten. They did lose one to St. Louis, so we'll see if they lose another one here today. I'm not so sure that it's in the uh, stars, but it's not about the stars. It's about these dice. That's what uh, determines everything. And so we go back to the play game screen, and here we go starting with Roger Bresnahan. Bresnahan up against Art Frum. Frum 2-6 and six is his record despite uh, that uh, 12 uh, rating. It tells you that the ratings in games like Skeetersoft are not everything. Bresnahan rolls a 53 for an 18. That'll be changed to a 15. Fly ball to left field. delahanty has got that for the out one away. And here now, Mike Donlin, and this is sort of the uh, focus a little bit today will be on Mike Donlin, who's hitting 359. Donlin turned uh, 30 after the 1908 season. The vaudeville star, as he was, had a vaudeville contract part-time before 1908 and um, was married to an actress and decided at the end of 1908 to hang up the cleats and uh, exchange them for the acting gear. He rolls a 62 for a 12. That'll be a ground ball to Kanechi, who goes to first himself two away, and that'll bring up Art Devlin. Devlin hitting 294. Donlin uh, spent two years away from the game of baseball, missing two of his prime years. Finally came back, uh, I think it was 1911, actually. maybe may have been two or even three years away. Uh, but then uh, Donlin did eventually come back. Wasn't the same player, obviously. Here's Devlin, who rolls a, 60, a 21, sorry, for a 30. Fly ball to left field, and Shannon has that for the out. We go to the bottom of the first inning, and it'll be Joe Delahanty here for the Cardinals up against Doc Crandall. Crandall, 3-3 three three the record, 1.74 ERA and a 252 batting against average. Those of you who don't know, we're playing Skeetersoft NP3. Uh, this is originally a, a, a tabletop game. This is the a computerized version for Windows, uh, which was created by Cyrus D'Amato. If you're looking up here, you can see him right up here, his name at the very top of the screen. It's a pretty good uh, translation. There are a couple of quirks here and there. Because it's a, a card and dice game, uh, we're going to be talking a lot about what the uh, rules are with the dice. And so the bottom of the uh, first inning will start off here. Um, and Delahanty's rule is going to be a 55 for an 8, uh, which uh, will be a ground ball over to shortstop. It's going to be uh, Bridwell making that play, throwing to first for the out. One away. Ed Kanechi up there now hitting 275. Top of the Cardinal order can hit. Once you get past about the number four guy, then it gets pretty bad. Kanechi rolls a 54 4 45. There is a little E roll. These little E rolls are to uh, try to add in a few extra airs here for seasons like 1908, which had a lot of airs. A lot of complicated card making there, and the roll is a 22. Uh, that will change that roll to an 18. Uh, because there was a uh, invisible rule inside to change this 19 to an 18. At any rate, Kanechi reaches first on the error by Bridwell. That's the important thing for us, and that will bring up uh, Red Murray. I've done a video before about the basics of Skeetersoft, but uh, eventually we're going to have to do some videos probably on talking about why the game works like this and how it works. Red Murray comes up next. There's a lot of stuff I don't fully understand, but you can kind of undo a little bit. You can do a little bit of reverse engineering. I don't want to do too much. I don't want to upstage uh, Bill. But uh, it'd be interesting, I think, for people to look at. Murray rolls a 53 for a 15. That'll be a hit by pitch. So Crandall having a few problems here early on. That brings up Al Shaw. Shaw hitting 178, and he's hitting fourth. And I told you it's ugly. And this is where the uh, criticism of my lineups will come in. And I think we're going to have Albert Bunt. And the roll of 65 for a 35. And that's a foul bunt that's up in the air. And it'll be an easy catch for Bresnahan. And there's two away. Here's Patsy O'Rourke. Patsy's hitting 131, <laughs> so we went from bad to worse. Still runners on a first and second, two outs, bottom of the first. And the roll is a 43 for a 29. There's a comebacker over to Crandall, who throws that to first base for the out. And uh, we'll go to the uh, top of the second inning. Uh, so uh, top of the second inning here, no score. It'll be Fred Tenney for the Giants uh, leading this off. He's hitting 308. Tenney rolls an 11 for a zero. Next roll... Is a 45 for a 6. That'll be a double to right center field for Fred. And now he's on his second base with Larry Doyle coming up. In case you're not familiar with it, Skeetersoft NP3 is very heavily uh, based on the old national pastime system. NP3 is the third iteration of national pastime. That'll make sense for you. And uh, this is a very, very similar game to APA. This is sort of like 
you can consider it sort of a tweener game between the Appa Basic and Master game, though it's a lot more realistic and accurate than the Master game. And that's not just my opinion. I'm convinced, I'm very confident that the numbers uh, hold that one out. Here's Doyle. And Larry rolls the 24 for a 13, and down he goes with the strikeout, number 37 this season for Art From, and uh, there's one away. Cy so Seymour now is uh, Tenny uh, is perched on second base. Seymour rolls a 12 for a 25. It's a line drive to O'Rourke. He makes the grab and then throws over to Gilbert, covering in the bag. That's a double play. And uh, we go to the bottom of the second inning now. There is uh, still no score. So bottom of the second inning here, it'll be Bobby Byrne here for the Cardinals up against Doc Randall. Byrne hitting 167. His roll is a 31 for 39. Change to a 41. That's going to be a ground ball over to short. Bridwell uh, has that one on to first. There's one away. Billy Gilbert now. Gilbert hitting 122. And he rolls a 24 for a 13. That'll be a strikeout. Two away. Crandall gets his first of the game. 25th strikeout of the season. Here's Art Hulskutter. Art uh, hitting a uh, lovely 206. And he rolls a 12 for a 24. There is a little E-roll, so we'll see what happens with this. And the roll is a 62 out of that range. So it'll be a ground ball to short, and Bridwell has that on to first base for the out. And uh, just like that, we will go to the top of the third inning. So no score, and here is Spike Shannon for New York. No score, only one hit in this ballgame so far. Classic 1908 game. Shannon rolls a 55. That'll be a nine single. But then that little C, see that little thing there? If you're watching, that means that he's thrown out stealing with the next batter up, and that's what happens. So single for Shannon, but he's thrown out trying to steal with Bridwell up there. Now, there, I know that there are some people who wonder, well, should we do that or not? There are actually two stealing systems with uh, Skeeter Soft. I prefer to use the little C, little, uh, little C in the uh, S or the asterisk type uh, system because it's a little bit faster. Maybe next time we do a project, we'll use the other one, the more stratomatic type system. One away, here's Bridwell. We'll try that again as that fell away. Rolls a 66 for a zero. And then a uh, 23 for a six. That'll be hit to right center field. Gets in the gap, and that's an easy double there for Bridwell. And that brings up Doc Crandall. This ballpark here in uh, St. Louis, of course, not entirely all that big. This is the same side upon which, um, I'm sorry, no, that's the Browns who played on the same side. It's uh, Robinson Field, that's right, for the Cardinals back this far, which is interesting because the uh, Cardinals ended up moving into what would later become Sportsman's Park after the fact, though they were the National League team. Crandall rolls a 64 for a 13, and that'll be a strikeout, and uh, there's two away, and up comes uh, Roger Bresnahan. Bresnahan hitting uh, leadoff uh, probably will cause a lot of consternation amongst uh, many of you. Hitting 345 this season, 466 on base percentage, and a 420 slugging percentage. I look at that and I think that you probably want him to get a lot of at bats. I would hate to have this guy hit eighth when he hits like this. And uh, his role is a 45 for a 14, and he'll take the walk. 34th that Art From has given up this season. That's the first of the game, and that's where Art's troubles really have been. Mike Donlin up next, and here comes Mike. Here comes the superstar. And his roll of 44 for a 7. That'll be a single to left field. Delahanty gets there, but the uh, run scores. Uh, Crandall scores. Bresnahan over to third. And that'll bring up uh, Art Devlin. one nothing now, Giants. And here comes uh, Devlin. Hitting 292. He's driven in 22. See if he can add to that total. And he will. The roll is an 11 for a 0. And then a 41 for a 7. That's another single to the left. And another run scores. Donlin goes to third this time. I'll bring up Fred Tenney. And it's probably time to do some hitting and running. Tenney's hitting 313. He's also driven in 23. So everybody's hitting. Everybody's driving them in. And these Giants are playing well. Uh, Tenney's roll is a 16 for a 26. It's going to be a ground ball to uh, second base. Gilbert on to first. And uh, we will go to the uh, bottom of the third inning. Um, the uh, Giants have come off uh, here with a 2 nothing lead. And uh, I'm, s yes, bottom of the third inning. That's right. It'll be Art from the pitcher leading this off. 2 nothing lead now for the Giants. Here's Crandall's pitch. It uh, rolls a 25 for a 23, changed to 36. That'll be a ball. Next roll, 46 for a 13. So Crandall comes back and strikes out from. Second strikeout of the game for Doc. One away, and here's Joe Delahanty. Delahanty hitting 255 now, 0 for 1 today. Rolls a 45 for a 14, and so he'll take a walk. That's the 15th given up by Crandall, first one today. 
That brings up Ed Kenechi. And the question here is always, do we want to hit and run or not? Delahanty doesn't have any 11s. He does have two 10s, but uh, we'll play a little bit safe here. Or only a 2 nothing lead for the Giants. Rolls a 55 for an A. That's going to be a single to left center field. Delahanty, who uh, has that S, uh, which means he's a little slow, goes only up to second. First base hit of the game for the Cardinals, and it comes here in the bottom of the third, and that'll bring up Red Murray. Red Murray hitting 239 has driven in only six, not what you want from the number three guy, but you saw what the rest of this order was like. He's uh, was hit by a pitch last time up. His roll is a 62 for a 12. Ground ball, this will be Bridwell over to Doyle on to Tenney, and they get the twin killing. And so we go to the top of the fourth inning, um, and it's still a 2 nothing lead here for the Giants. Uh, it won't be a no-hitter, we'll tell you that much, but uh, the Cardinals are going to have to do a little bit more if they're going to make this a competitive game. Here's Larry Doyle. Doyle's hitting 224, over one today with a strikeout, and he rolls a 15 for an 11. That's a single to left, and then he steals second as Seymour comes up there. See, I like this system because it gives you accurate steal and caught stealing totals. Well, we don't know for 1908, right, because we don't have actual caught stealing stats, but it's going to be close enough. It's a good approximation. It does that without you having to decide, am I going to steal in this at bat or not, and doing all of that stuff. Pretty good for solo gamers. Not necessary, not required necessarily, but I think it's still a pretty good thing. Here's Cy Seymour. Seymour rolls a 44 for an 8. Come back or to from, and he is only play first base, so he goes to Kenechi before the out, and Doyle moves over to third. One away, here's Spike Shannon. Shannon, uh, 248, was singled and was caught stealing earlier. Infield is back. Rolls a 41 for a 28, and it's a ground ball to O'Rourke, who goes to first for the out, and the run scores. So it's a 3 nothing lead now for the Giants. Up is Al Bridwell. Bridwell's roll 24 for 13 and strikes out. That's the third strikeout that Frum has collected. And uh, like that, we'll go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Uh, it's a 3 uh, nothing lead now for the Giants, and uh, this will bring up uh, Albert Shaw. Shaw is 0 for 1 today. Popped up the last time on that bunt. He rolls a 25 for a 10, and there's a single to center field. And that'll bring up Patsy O'Rourke. Second hit off of Crandall for the Cardinals. Patsy, 0 for 1, which is what happens when you don't have any hits off the guy. And uh, he rolls a 55 for an A. That'll be a single right in between Seymour and Shannon. Seymour able to cut that one off. Shaw goes over to second. Uh, not a particularly fast runner, so he holds there. And that'll bring up Bobby Byrne. Now, this is the question, which is you're down by three. Burn, not a great hitter. Do you uh, bunt? Do you swing away? Let me know what you would do in this situation. We're going to swing away with Bobby. We'll do it the uh, so-called sabermetric style. And uh, the roll is a 31 for a 39. See, this is the problem. You have rolls like that. Turns into a 23, which is uh, a uh, ball. And uh, the pitcher, Crandall, is ejected from the game. Your call if you want to remove the player. We will remove him. Some of these I don't pay much attention to, but this one we will. We'll make this interesting. So uh, Crandall has to be taken out of this game for fighting over the uh, ball and strike calls. And now you have a problem because you think, well, who do we put in? Probably going to be Luther Taylor who will come into this game for the Giants. And so Crandall, um, who's only given up uh, three uh, uh, base hits, has to come out of this game. Up comes Bobby Byrne, and uh, that's one of those uh, unusual plays. I was worried for a second it was going to be one of those uh, rain delays or uh, rain outs, but uh, when we see that, we just play on. But if it's an ejection, we'll uh, we'll have the ejection take place. Here is again is Bobby Byrne. Runners on at first and second, nobody out. And his roll is a 24 for a 30. It's a fly ball to left field. Shannon has that for the out, one away. Up comes Billy Gilbert. Gilbert's such a bad hitter, we're going to bunt. And the roll is a 65 for a 35. There is a little E roll. It's a 36, and uh, that's out of the range. So it's a foul, bunt. Uh, Bresnahan has that for the out, and uh, Gilbert has failed. Two away, and here's Art Hilschkutter. His roll is 56 for 34. It's a pop-up to the left side. Devlin, the third baseman, has that for the out. And uh, after that eventful fourth inning, uh, we're going to go to the uh, top of the fifth inning here. Um, it is still a 3 nothing lead for the Giants, so it doesn't really matter um, how many weird things happen for the Cardinals. None of them are good. Here comes uh, Luther Taylor, the uh, relief pitcher, and he rolls a 15 for an 8. That'll be a ground ball to short or work over to first, one away. Roger Bresnahan up there now, and he'll roll a 56 for a 14, and uh, Frum has given up his second walk. 
That's the other reason why we like Bresnahan hitting at that number one spot. I know he doesn't have an 11, so we won't hit and run with him. Usually we don't need to because Donlin's hitting 361. Roll by Mike is a 51 for a 7. What did I tell you? That's hit the right center field in front of Murray, who ends up cutting it off. Donlin with the base hit. Bresnahan over to second. That brings up uh, our Devlin once again, and uh, I think you've seen this merry-go-round before. Devlin's one for two today. And uh, let's see what Art can do for you. He rolls a 33 for a seven. That'll be a single to left field, and that will score the run. Bresnahan, who's not slow, scores. Dolan to third, Devlin on at first. And it's a 4 nothing game, and here comes Fred Tenney, and we're going to hit and run. We are as relentless as uh, I believe John McGraw would have been. Rolls a 42 for a 41, and that's a line drive to third base. Uh, caught there by the third baseman, uh, uh, Byrne, who then goes to the bag himself for the double play. That's actually a triple play um, if there's nobody out, but there was someone out. So major play there for the Cardinals prevents more runs from scoring. We'll go now to the uh, bottom of the fifth inning, and uh, it remains a 4-0 uh, lead for the Giants. Uh, it'll be Art from the pitcher for the Cardinals, uh, to lead this off. From then Delahanty Kanechi as we go to the top of the order. Art rolls a 54 for a 45. It's a pop-up over to right field. Donlin has that one easily for the out. One away. Here's uh, Joe Delahanty. Delahanty rolls a 65 for a 35. There's a little E-roll. It's a 32, and that's going to be out of the range. So it'll be a pop-up over to the left side. Devlin has that. Two away, and here's Ed Kanechi. These Giants, you always wonder how they didn't win the pennant in 1908 because this is a great team. Kanechi rolls a 64 for a 13. That'll be a strikeout. We go to the top of the sixth inning. Still uh, 4 nothing uh, Giants. Um, and uh, I tell you, I mean, I'm aware, as uh, the rest of you are, of uh, Merkel's boner and um, of the other weird things that happened in 1908, but I still have to ask myself how it is that this team didn't just blow away the National League. These Giants, I mean, if you read through replays doesn't really matter what game it is um the giants tend to win this replay is the american league where there's not a clear favor doyle rolls a 21 for a 30 it's a fly ball to left field shannon has that one one away here comes Cy seymour um i know not all you know, replays are equal but if you were to uh, collect a whole bunch of 1908 replays i'm confident you'd find the giants um, winning the national league in most of them uh seymour rolls an 11 for a zero and that'll be a 62 for a 6. And that's it over to right center field. Gets into the gap. And this time, no one can cut it off in time. Double for Seymour. That brings up Spike Shannon. So 4 nothing lead for the Giants. And uh, they're knocking on the door again. Shannon is 246. 1 for 2 today. Was uh, caught trying to steal. Did drive another one in when he made a uh, ground ball for an out. His roll is a 26 for a 27. That's a ground ball over to Byrne. Bobby throws to first. And Seymour can't move up with that ball hit in front of him. So there's two away. Here comes Art Bridwell. Bridwell is one for two today, score to run. And uh, the roll is 36 for a 14, so Frum has given up yet another walk. And that brings up Luther Taylor, the pitcher, the relief pitcher, uh, with a 4 nothing lead, runners on at first and second. And his roll, 24 for a 13. That's a strikeout, fifth one that our Frum has collected. So with that, we go uh, to the uh, bottom of the sixth inning. And uh, the uh, Giants uh, are retaining their lead for nothing. We'll bring up uh, Red Murray here for uh, the uh, Cardinals. Bottom of the sixth inning, and uh, the Giants, uh, despite losing their pitcher, are still rolling. Roll for Murray is a 25 for an 11. That'll be a single to left, and then he steals second. That brings up Al Shaw. We're now on a second base here for Shaw, and this is where the Cardinals have so many problems. The first three batters are okay, and then it just plummets. His roll 53 for a 16, changed to an 18. That'll be another error on Bridwell. So he's committed two now. Has, uh, uh, what's, his, what's your first name? Has Al Bridwell, that's right. That'll bring up Patsy O'Rourke. Patsy today so far is one for two with a single. Roll for O'Rourke is a 25 for a nine, and that's another hit. That'll be an infield hit, and that loads him up uh, here for Bobby Byrne. Luther Taylor, by the way, in terms of uh, the... Uh, uh, card and dice game um, has gone down to a D. He doesn't really have much of a uh, uh, much of an ability to uh, stay in the game as a reliever, and so we'll keep an eye on him. 
four nothing Giants and uh, Burn rolls a 33 for an eight, and that's a single through shortstop, and that will uh, score two. Uh, runner on at uh, first base, uh, who was um, O'Rourke, is thrown over, thrown out at third, as it was a good throw by Shannon to get him over to Devlin. Not sure why they have O'Rourke running. Uh, four to two now is the uh, score, and Burn is on at first base with one out. Here comes Billy Gilbert. And with Gilbert hitting 120, you kind of have to bum with him. So the Cardinals put two runs across here in the bottom of the six. Gilbert uh, rolls as he's bunting a 65 for a 35. That's going to be a, a little bunt in front of the play. Bresnahan throws over to Bridwell and on to Tenia first for the double play. And with that, we go to the uh, top of the ele- uh, top of the seventh inning. Um, it's a 4-2 to lead for the Giants, and uh, Roger Bresnahan will lead this off. He's over one. He's walked twice. This is the thing about Bresnahan. If you're uh, criticizing these lineups, he walks pretty frequently. He's always on base. So many four teams on that card. His rolls a 22 for a 7, and he's on base again. So now he's 1 for 2 today with the base hit. Tenth hit of the game for the Giants. Now, <clears throat> Bresnahan, as you can see, if you're looking at the screen, does not have an 11. So keep that in mind. Donlin comes up now, uh, 2 for 3. His roll 56 for a 34, and that's going to be a strikeout from Y gets him the strikeout. Strikeout number six for Art, and there's one away. Here comes uh, the other Art, Art Devlin. Devlin rolls a 52 for a 27, ground ball third base. Burn uh, goes to second uh, to Gilbert for one, but uh, the relay to first not in time. Devlin beats it out on the fielder's choice. So uh, two away now, Fred Tenney coming up. Tenney so far today, one for three. Did hit in a double play last time. That was that line drive to third. And his roll is a 66 for a zero. And 55 for a six. That's a double over first base. Past Kanechi's outstressed arm into the corner. And that'll score the runner. Tenney now on at second. And that makes it a five to two ball game. And here comes Doyle. So I was talking about these Giants and what a great team this is. That's the sort of thing that this team always does. Every time they need the base hit, they get it, and they just got it again. They went and they did it, and they did it. Roll for Doyle is a 24 for a 13, and that's a strikeout from his collected his seventh, but uh, too little too late. So uh, we will go now to the bottom of the seventh inning. Our Art uh, Hilskutter will lead this off. Luther Taylor stays in the game. He gave up those two runs. Not in much trouble at the moment. We uh, like to manage 1908 style. Rolls a 51 for a 9. That'll be a base hit. Seventh hit of the game so far for the Cardinals. And that'll bring up Art from probably about right to bun with him. I don't see what good he can do. Rolls a 31 for a 13. It's a foul strike. So it's an 0 and 1 count on Art. Now 52 for a 27. And um, he misses two opportunities to bunt. That uh, means a strikeout for From. So uh, one away. That's the uh, second strikeout that Luther Taylor's picked up. Here's Joe Delahanty. Joe rolls a 56 for a 34. It's a pop-up over to the left side. Bridwell, the shortstop, has that for the out. Two away. Here now Ed Konechny. And Ed rolls a 16 for a 26. It's a ground ball to Doyle. Second baseman flips over to Bridwell for the force out of the bag. And uh, just like that, we're going to go to the uh, top of the eighth inning here. Five to two Giants, uh, and it'll be Cy Seymour leading this off. So Cy Seymour, one for three today. He rolls a uh, 43. You can kind of see that there on the uh, camera. Not sure if I can angle this much better so you can see. There you go. 43 for a 29. Come back or over to From, who throws the first for the out. One away. Spike Shannon now. And Shannon rolls a 66 for a 0. And a 13 for a 6. So that's a hit again to right center field between Murray and Shaw. And that'll be an easy double. 12th hit of the game for the Giants. you got to start asking yourself, how come the Giants are getting all the big hits? Well, it's because they've got the cards that have all the big rolls. That's why this is a good team. Bridwell rolls a 66 for a 0. And 52 for a 6. And that'll be another double. That'll score another run. Makes this a 6-2 to two ball game. We have to start asking ourselves about Art Frum and how long we're going to leave him in this game. 13 hits for the Giants and 6 runs. Here's Luther Taylor. Taylor rolls a 41 for a 27. That's a ground ball to burn at third. He throws to first, and there's two away. Here comes Roger Bresnahan. Roger today walked twice, one for two. He rolls a 14 for a 43. Fly ball to center field. Shaw has that one for the catch. Good catch there by um, Al. And uh, we go now to the um, uh, bottom of the eighth inning. 
And uh, it's a 6-2 to two lead here for the Giants. And uh, even with Taylor giving up a bunch of base hits, I'm not so sure the Cardinals have much of a chance. Here's Red Murray. He rolls a 65 for a 35. It's a pop-up over to the left side. Devlin has that in foul territory. One away. Al Shaw now. He rolls a 12 for a 29. Come back here to Taylor, who throws the first two away. And here's Patsy O'Rourke. Rolls a 16 for a 26. That'll be a ground ball this time to Doyle, who throws the first. And uh, that's uh, probably faster than you want if you're a Cardinals fan. Uh, we go to the top of the ninth inning. And uh, here comes uh, Mike Donlin. Six to two Giants. Mike rolls a 35 for an 8. Single to left center field. And that'll bring up our Devlin. So runner on base again for the Giants, 14 hits now. Devlin is two for four today, hitting the fielder's choice last time up. Roll is a 36 for a 32. High fly ball to right. Murray's got that one easily. One away. Here's Fred Tenney. Fred rolls a 61 for a 37. Change to 23. And uh, Donlin steals second base and goes to third on the bad throw by Hoosgooder. Then he gets in a fight. This is actually realistic with uh, Bobby Byrne. And so Donlin will be thrown out of the game. There will be a runner on a third base. We need to find somebody who can play right. I think it's probably going to be Merkel who's going to come into this game. Fred Merkel, who's famous for all sorts of other things, is going to be the right fielder here for the uh, Giants. And so Merkel ends up on a third as um, De uh, Donlin, who's kind of been uh, the uh, focus uh, point today, has been kicked out of this ball game. You know, it's an interesting game with Mike Donlin around. I think I wrote, I think it was Donlin I was writing about who had a bunch of brushings earlier on, one that involved getting a bunch of stitches, and then like two days later, he was back playing with the team. They were different types of players back then. Here's Tenney with one out runner on a third. Rolls a 54 for a 45. There's a little E roll. It's a 55 out of the range. It's a fly ball deep to ride. Murray's got that for the out. Merkel, though not quite fast enough, won't test his arm. Two away, and here comes uh, Larry Doyle. Rolls a 31 for an 8. That's going to be a base hit. That scores Fred Merkel. Doyle then is uh, caught trying to steal second. That time we probably should have told him not to steal. It doesn't really matter either way. 15th hit for the Giants. They get their 7th run, and we go to the bottom of the ninth inning. We'll do a little bit of a mercy rule here for the Cardinals. Let them get that uh, caught stealing. Bobby Byrne here against Taylor, and we're keeping Taylor in the game. That's the other little bit of mercy that we show. And uh, the roll is a 65 for a 35. It's a pop-up uh, to uh, Devlin in foul territory. He takes it in. One away. Billy Gilbert now, and the door is closing. Rolls is 25 for a 10. There's a single to center, so the Cardinals have their eighth hit. We'll bring up Art Hoskoder. We won't pinch hit for Art because he's one of the better hitters on the team. And he rolls a 33 for a 7. What did I tell you? Single to right center field. Seymour cuts that one off, but uh, the uh, uh, ball is in there. Hill scooters on at first. Gilbert stops at second as he's slow. That brings a part from, and uh, we're going to take him out. Looking through this, trying to figure out who we want to put in. Now, if you're watching along with me, I tell you, you got Shad Barry, Jack Bliss, Chappie Charles, Bill Ludwig, Doc Marshall. None of these guys have an on-base percentage of over 300. That's not batting average. That's on-base percentage. I mean... Ed Carter, the pitcher, has a better on-base percentage than any of those players. <laughs> any of those position players, I should say. And so as tempting as it is to put, as it is to put Carter in there to pinch hit, we're going to put Chad uh, Barry in there instead. Runners on at first and second with one out. Seven to two Giants. And Barry rolls a 43 for a 29. It's a comebacker to Taylor. He turns around, throws over to Bridwell for one, and goes back over to Tenney for the double play, and that does it. So the Giants win this game 7-2. Uh, to two. Mike Donlin, uh, not only the uh, hero of the game, but uh, he had the uh, biggest uh, showman moment of them all. You've heard of uh, Reggie Jackson, and you know all about the big showboats. You know about DiMaggio. You know about Mantle. But you probably forgot about, uh, about uh, Mike Donlin, uh, the man who uh, was the biggest showman of them all and the biggest city of them all. And he was built for Broadway, and I think he showed it there with his fight with Byrne. 7-2, to the final score, Giants with the win. 15 hits for the Giants, and uh, the Giants will go up by a little bit more on top of the Cubs. And I'll see you again tomorrow with another game. Bye-bye.